These are the top five natural baits for targeting pompano. Number five, blue crab. Although not commonly used along the Gulf Coast, blue crabs are a go-to bait for surf fishermen targeting pompano up and down the coast of Florida. Here along the Gulf Coast, blue crabs are cut into halves or quarters for targeting big drum species. But you can also use blue crab for targeting pompano by cutting it into smaller pieces. Start with removing the claws and legs. Next, cut the crab down the middle and remove the top shell. Then you just need small enough pieces for pompano to eat. The easiest way to accomplish this is to cut along the lines on the bottom of the crab. Put a piece on your circle hook, preferably through one of the knuckles, and you're set. If you have access to salt water, you can catch blue crabs by either wading around with a net or by dropping a crab trap with some fresh bait. Remember to release the females with eggs to the water unharmed. Also make sure you follow local laws about placing crab traps. Blue crabs are a bait that I will personally experiment more with in the future as I feel it has a real potential for the Gulf Coast area. Number 4. Clams Another popular bait used by pompano fishing legends like Larry Finch is clams. Most pompano you catch are likely to have remnants of clams in their stomach. The small clams they feed on in the surf zone are called coquina clams. Coquina clams have small colorful shells that you crunch on as you walk out into the surf. These little clams are the filters of the ocean and are a food source for fish like pompano and whiting. You will have a hard time getting coquina clams to stay on your hook, so I would recommend buying clams at a seafood store to cut into strips for bait. Number 3. Shrimp if you want a pompano bait that also has the best shot at catching any of the surf species, then you should use shrimp. Although mainly a sight feeding fish, pompano also hunt using scent, and shrimp put off quite a powerful scent. You can find shrimp at a local tackle shop, seafood market, or grocery store. Shrimp doesn't hold up too well on the hook after being in a freezer, so try to buy just enough for your trip to the beach. I found the best method of using shrimp is to cut it into two pieces, if it's a large piece, and put it on a double drop pompano rig. Shrimp is absolutely the best natural bait for species variety. Any and all species of fish like shrimp, but that also means you're going to catch the less desirable hardhead catfish. The older and smellier the shrimp, the higher your chances are at catching catfish, so make sure you bring fresh bait to the beach. Number two, sand fleas. The most popular pompano bait up and down the coast is sand fleas, which are also known as mole crabs. Sand fleas live along the water's edge in colonies and can be harvested using a sand flea rake. Like coquina clams, sand fleas are a bait source native to the surf and make up a healthy portion of a pompano's diet. The majority of sand fleas you harvest are females and are carrying orange eggs which are highly desirable to pompano. Pompano are sight feeders, so you will see pompano fishermen using orange beads and floats to mimic sand flea eggs. You should also experiment with a variety of colored beads and floats on your pompano rigs as coquina clams come in a variety of colors as well. My favorite time to harvest sand fleas is at night because the crowds are gone and it's much easier to spot the colonies with a flashlight. With the white sand we have along the Gulf Coast, everything can be so bright during the day, which makes it difficult to see the sand flea colonies. To catch your own sand fleas, grab a sand flea rake from a tackle shop and head out to the beach. Along the shoreline, you are looking for little V's in the sand. I will leave links in the description below to my video about catching sand fleas at night and Tony Fagioni's recent video about catching sand fleas during the day. Before moving on to number one, please consider subscribing to my channel for more surf fishing tips, tactics, and reviews. Number one, ghost shrimp. I have yet to find a bait that rivals ghost shrimp for targeting pompano. These little alien are filet mignon to pompano, and you're going to have a hard time keeping up with all the bites during the pompano runs in the spring and the fall. Ghost shrimp are very brittle, so the key is to wrap invisible thread around them when putting them on your hook. Although ghost shrimp is the number one bait for pompano, they are also the most difficult bait to obtain as bait stores don't carry them and harvesting can sometimes be very tricky depending on wind conditions and water clarity. Most people will never know these shrimp even exist because they live under the sand in a network of tunnels. The only clue they leave is a small mound in the sand. You will need to either buy or make a pump to harvest your own ghost shrimp. 
Click the video on your screen to see how you can catch ghost shrimp, or click the second video for the top five cut baits for surf fishing. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks for watching.